Hey everyone, welcome to today's laptop transition tutorial in Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to seamlessly transition from a video to a laptop display using the powerful tools and features within Adobe After Effects. The process of making a laptop transition involves several steps. First, we use the mock effect to create a marks around the laptop screen. Then, we animate the marks using the corner pin effect to zoom in on the screen. Finally, we place a video behind the marks to laptop screen resulting in a seamless transition. In this tutorial, we are working with two video clips in After Effects. Now we create a new composition by dragging the first video into this composition icon. We then move the time indicator to the end of the first video clip to see the entire clip. Next we grab the second video clip and place it on top of the first video clip, which will serve as the footage for the laptop display. Great, now let's move the second video to the right end of the timeline in After Effects. To mask the laptop screen, we use the Mocha effect as it provides accurate masking and tracking capabilities. Now let's find the Mocha AE effect in Effects and Preset tab. Once we have located it, we will apply the effect to the first video on the timeline. Then we go to the effect controls and click on Mocha, which will open up a new window. In this window, we will be able to mask and track the laptop screen accurately. If you are looking for more information on Mocha Effect, I have several tutorials that you can watch. The links to these tutorials will be provided in the description of this video. So feel free to check them out if you would like a more in-depth understanding of this powerful tool in After Effects. Well, at this time, we will go to the beginning frame of the timeline by dragging the time indicator. Now we use the pen tool to draw marks around the laptop screen. To adjust the roundness of the marks, we right click on the top of the blue handle and move it slightly. If necessary, we can change the position of the masking points. This time we can enable the perspective. As our time indicator is at the first frame of the timeline, so to start the tracking process, we click on the right arrow icon. The tracking is complete and Mocha has done an excellent job. We review the entire tracking clip to see if any adjustments are needed. If everything looks good, we save the tracking data by clicking on the save icon and close Mocha to return to After Effects. To create a marks, we need to expand the mat inside Mocha and then click on create AE marks. The marks will then appear in the composition. To enable the other part of the marks to video, we will go to the video layer, expand it and check the inverted box. To better understand the process, we can turn off the second video by clicking on this eye icon. If you wanna know how to enable the transparency background, it can easily be done from here. The laptop transition will take around 3 seconds. To ensure the time indicator position, we can drag it at the end of the transition. As we have to animate this max screen to zoom in, so navigate to the effects and preset tab. In the search box, type corner pin to find the effect. Apply the corner pin effect to the laptop footage. Now go to the effects, then the corner pin. Here you notice 4 parameters to adjust the corner pin. Before adding keyframes to adjust the corner pins, move the time indicator slightly to the right. Then set keyframes for the end of the transition by clicking on the stopwatches. Next, move the time indicator to the first frame of the video and create keyframes by clicking on the diamond icons. Ensure that the corner pin effect is highlighted, then navigate to the composition. Here you can see 4 points. In this step, we adjust these points for zoom in the animation. To zoom in or out of the composition, use the mask scroll to make it easy. Now we have to zoom in on the masked laptop screen. Let's change the position of the corner pins until it goes out of the frame. It may take a bit of time to get it just right. If you need to move the composition, hold on the space key on the keyboard and move it around. The animation is complete. Now we can preview the zoom in animation by moving the time indicator. Let's change zoom level to fit. We can again check out the entire animation. To make the animation smoother, select all keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to apply easy ease. And that's it. Now it's time for the second video. So first of all, unhide the video by clicking on the eye icon. Now I am moving the time indicator to preview the transition and you can see our transition is almost done. But I wanna make it better. So let's go to the effects and preset tab and apply the corner pin effect to this video. Next move the time indicator to the desired location to create keyframes. 
to access the corner pin effect, expand the video and go to the effects. Finally set keyframes by clicking the stopwatches in the corner pin effect. You now see the keyframes that have been created. At this stage, we have to move the time indicator to the end of the transition. To determine the desired location, expand the first video, select the last keyframes of the transition using the left and right arrow icons. Well, now collapse the first video, ensure the corner pin effect of the second video is highlighted. Then go to the composition and change the position of the corner pins like the masking points. Move the time indicator as needed and readjust the corner pins if necessary. In After Effects and Premiere Pro, changes automatically create keyframes at the frame where they are made. That's all for today's laptop transition in After Effects. Thank you for taking time to watch this tutorial on creating a laptop transition in After Effects. If you have any feedback or questions about this tutorial, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.